Okay, verses five through five through seven prayer known is the purpose of Jesus Christ being light to the world. Okay, the purpose of Jesus Christ being light to the world. He's talking about his purpose. His purpose is Jesus Christ. His purpose is to be the light of the world. Look what it says in verses 5 through 7. Porque no nos predicamos a nosotros mismos, sino a Cristo como Señor, y a nosotros como vuestros siervos por amor de Jesús. His purpose is Jesus Christ, okay? His purpose is to preach Jesus, not himself. He's saying, look, I'm not preaching for you to worship me. I'm not preaching about me. I'm preaching so that you understand about Jesus Christ. Christ, look what it says in verse number six. Porque Dios que mandó de las tinieblas resplandeciese la luz. Él es el que resplandeció en nuestros corazones para iluminación del conocimiento de la gloria de Dios en la faz de Jesucristo. So he's saying, look, Satan is trying to blind the people. We need to keep preaching the light so the light can win. Think about it. If you're in a dark room and there's one tiny little light what do you see the darkness or the light give it about two seconds and your eye adjusts to that light and the light is way bigger than it looked like before right same thing with christians in this world if we keep showing the light the light can win okay so we need to be, keep being the light look what it says in verse number seven pero tenemos este tesoro en vasos de barro para que la excelencia del poder sea de dios y no de nosotros I like it in English too, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are the vasos de barro. Okay, God put the tesoro in us to say what? It's not us, it's God. It can no way be us. We're just earthen vessels. We're just vasos de barro. We don't mean anything. We don't have power in ourselves. We can't do anything in ourselves, but God has the power and God can do it all and so he put all his power and the tesoro into us so that it speaks of the excelencia del poder sea de dios y no de nosotros okay remember he chooses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise okay so let's be vasos de barro that god can use to show his power to show his love to show his excellency to the world for his glory okay verses eight through nine for paul is talking about never giving up okay eight and nine never giving up so he's talked about it he said look we're we are here with the ministry of misericordia we are not hiding the truth our purpose is jesus christ um we want to be the light of the world because he's the light of the world we are nothing without him so because of all that look what it says in verse number eight through nine we will not give up que estamos atribulados en todo mas no agust Diablos, en apuros, mas no desesperados, perseguidos, mas no desamparados, derribados, pero no destruidos. So he says we can go through everything, we can go through everything, but we are not giving up, okay? These are the words that you can use to describe us, these are the words that you cannot use. We are not defeated, we are not destroyed, we are not giving up. Okay, because the word of God, the tesoro, the salvation is all worth it, is what he is saying. Okay, let's look at 10 through 14. Verses 10 through 14 is death to life. Death to life. Look what it says. Llevando en el cuerpo siempre por todas partes la muerte de Jesús. Para que también la vida de Jesús se manifieste en nuestros cuerpos. Okay, so he's saying... We are bearing, we bring with us the death of Jesus Christ, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies. Okay, so we are showing, we are representing his death to represent the life that he gives through his death. Death to life. Look at verse number 11. Porque nosotros que vivimos siempre estamos entregados a muerte por causa de Jesús. Para que también la vida de Jesús se manifieste en nuestra carne mortal. It says in English, for which we we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Okay, so we will go to the death. We will go to the death and we die to ourselves 
so that we can represent the life of Jesus Christ. So he is going extreme for Jesus like we should as well in our lives. Give it all to him. Look what it says in verse number 12. De manera que la muerte actúa en nosotros y en nosotros la vida. Okay? So the death of Jesus Christ is working in us so that we can have life. And so you can have life. He's saying, look, we will go to the death. The death of Jesus Christ is always on us so that we can suffer whatever we need to suffer so that you can have life because our Jesus Christ suffered as well. In verse number 13, Pero teniendo el mismo espíritu de fe, conforme a lo que está escrito, creí, por lo cual hablé. Nosotros también creemos, por lo cual también hablamos. So we have a spirit of faith and we believe, so we share it with you. Verse number 14, sabiendo que él que resucitó al Señor Jesús, a nosotros también nos resucitará con Jesús y nos presentará juntamente con vosotros. Okay, so God who raised Jesus Christ is the same power that's going to raise us one day to be with Jesus Christ. So everything that we do on this earth is worth it for the ministry and we will not give up death to life. Okay, let's go on to the last part, verses 15 through 18. Verse 15 is my absolute favorite verse in the entire um, chapter. Let me read this to you first, and then I will tell you what the theme is for 15 through 18. Um, it says in verse number 15, Porque todas estas cosas padecemos por amor a vosotros, para que abundando la gracia por medio de muchos, la acción de gracias sobre abunde para gloria de Dios. It says in verse number 15, for, uh, in English, perdón, for all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through things, the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. Okay. The reason why I love that verse is because that is why I love you and I teach you and I try to serve you because what does it say? Everything padecemos por amor a vosotros. That the thankfulness that we can have, the gracia that we can have, the thankfulness that we can have for, for people that work in our lives goes sobre abunde to the glory, glory of God. That if you can see my love for you, then that can bring glory to God because you will know that everything that I do is because God has, because I love God and I want to do what God wants me to do. And then God has placed a love for you in my heart so that I can serve you and teach you about God so that the glory goes to God because you can see God working through me in your life. So that is what okay, somebody had, had to come into the, the room, but it actually worked out perfectly for the timing of everything. So that's why verse 15 is my favorite verse because it's like, um, it's a verse of proposito. It's a verse to, um, remind us why we have the ministry that God has given us so that we can bring the glory to him if we try to please him with what God, with, with what he has allowed us to do in our lives. Okay, so well, the theme for 15 through 18 is the continual motivation for ministry. The continual motivation for ministry. Look what it says. So verse 15, I already explained. Then verse number 16, por tanto no desmayamos. Okay, so that, so he said, I have love for you so that when you give thanks for that love, it can be glory to God. Because of that, we don't give up and we don't faint in all of this. Okay. Antes que aunque este nuestro hombre exterior se va desgastando, el interior no obstante se renueva de día en día. So we don't give up because yes, our physical bodies are getting older and getting gastados, but our energy, our motive for um, living for you will not, um, well, living for God and serving you will not be um, desgastado. It will be renewed every day to keep on going for God, okay? Um, so God can keep renewing us even though our exterior is getting older and older and older, right? ¿Por qué este, esta leve tribulación momentánea produce en nosotros un cada vez más excelente y eterno peso de gloria? So he, he calls it a leve tribulación momentánea. Anything that they're going through. Anything that he's going through. 
anything that we're going through. In the um, perspective of it to eternity, it's a leve tribulacion momentanea. Wow, crazy, right? Um, if Sometimes it feels huge. Right now what's happening in Honduras feels huge. When we go through crises, and we're going to talk about those in um, mental health psychology class this week, it feels huge. And to us at that moment, it is huge. But in the light of eternity, it is leve, okay? Um, because it works, but it works for us an eternal weight of glory and it does a work inside of us. Producing en nosotros, produce en nosotros un cada vez más excelente y eterno peso de gloria. No mirando nosotros las cosas que se ven, sino las cosas que no se ven. Pues las cosas que se ven son temporales, pero las cosas las que no se ven son eternas. So he says, keep your mind on the eternal. Don't keep your mind on the things of right now because the things of right now will pass. So when we feel like giving up because of something huge going on in our life, Paul is giving us the wisdom that what can we do? We can train ourselves to not look at it like it's something huge that needs to provoke us to rendirnos. Because it is working more and more to something huge that we're doing for the glory of of God that matters at the end of our life. Okay? Because the things that we look at are temporales. They're going to go away. But the things that we cannot see are eternal. So the way that we're helping people, like your psychology videos, the way that you you can help people with the things that you've gone through, then you don't have to look at that temporal thing as something that was horrible, but something that was used to help eternity help somebody know where they're going to go for eternity help them to be a better person for god right so we can always use things for eternity so that's why paul says i'm not going to give up i'm not going to give up because whatever is temporal right now my body hurting and things i go through there are tribulaciones right he said in the end in the end it all mattered for eternity and that's why he's not going to give up because god gets the glory and jesus christ is preached and more people get to go to heaven because of it. Okay, cool, right? Okay, cool. Let it transform our lives. It should transform our lives, the truth in this chapter. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your word. And thank you for this chapter, Lord, where Paul just reminds us to just give it all for ministry. Give it all for the people that you have called us to love so that, that more and more people can know you can be saved by you, can become your children, go to heaven with you, and here on earth have joy and spread that joy to other people so that more and more people can llenar el cielo and that Satan doesn't win, that Satan doesn't um, make people blind to your light, Lord. Please help us to do that for you. Please make us people that are better for you, that have pure motives for you every day. We love you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, guys. Love you. Thanks for everything. Have a great day.